from in Hollywood. It's the Tom Mikey Show. Oh my God! Oh, here I go! Oh, and now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. Where the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Right on our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Like us 101. The ongoing on-air occult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. And just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Kyle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hello. How many times are you going to say hello? How you doing? I can you... barely hear you. I'm, let me move to a different spot. Jesus. Hello? Tom? Yes? Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Oh, you can hear me. Tom. Yes. <laughs> can you hear me? I've now said yes twice, and this is the last time I'm going to say it. Uh, all right. How you doing, man? You've asked me that four times. I don't think you answered me, though. It doesn't matter. You've been okay. on the air now for a minute, and you've said nothing. All right, well, I'm just basically calling because I, I will tell you this, man. I don't agree with most of what you say, but you are a very, very good entertainer. Very good. Um, and I'm listening to your broadcast tonight, and I have a problem with a couple uh, things that you said. Number one, you're telling that one guy to just go around and have meaningless sex. That's yes. The point. That's the point of being young. That's what it's about. Right. Well, Tom, what do you think is going to happen if all the young men in America are going out and having meaningless sex. A uh, number we, of uh, catering halls are going to go out of business. <laughs> no, man, we're going to end up with more illegitimate children. You're not if they use condoms. But, Tom, they're, they're not 100% safe. They're not, but let's face it, guys are having sex anyway. Instead of having meaningless sex, they're like these guys who moon after their girlfriends. The girlfriends say, I'm allergic to birth control. I don't like it. I think they fat and moody, and I don't like I don't like the way a condom feels. And besides, I'm allergic to latex. I want to feel you. I want to feel you. Take that thing off. I want to feel you. So, in other words, instead of having meaningless sex with lots of different women, they they have meaningful sex with one woman who wants to get knocked up and take these guys to the cleaners. Yeah, but then you you're use better the off spreading it around. But then you use the analogy of a urinal in a gas station. Yes. I mean, come on, Tom. I, that's how I see it. But yeah, but what I'm saying is, if if this is the advice that our young men are getting today, thirty years from now. Our planet is going to be ten times as more screwed as it is now because you're going to end Why? up. Why? Because you know, men. That's all that's on our mind is sex. They're not going to stop at one. So why woman. not go out and have it? That's exactly what they're going to do. We're going to end up with more illegitimate children, more wealth. Why would we end up with more? I think we end up with more illegitimate children when these guys think they're in love with their girlfriend and they, they allow babies to be born. There's more illegitimate children coming from that than anything else. Yeah, but you're giving this guy advice. Go get a different girl every night. Every you're night. Not, two on Sunday. Great sex with the same woman. Just use no, the I'm not. I think he's better off spreading it around. So if he doesn't have any feelings for any one of them, he won't knock them up. <laughs> but but again, that's assuming that birth control is foolproof, which it is. We never said it is. But you know what? When I cross the street, I might get hit by a bus. I still cross the street. 
It's not yeah, foolproof. I might get hit by a car. But yeah. it's not going to stop me from crossing the street. Absolutely. But if you cross the street five times a day as opposed to once, the chances of you getting hit are a whole lot better. Actually, they're not. Uh, how do you figure? Because because a condom is, is at worst, 5% ineffective. Okay. Meaning you can have sex 19 times without getting somebody knocked up. Well, that's just statistics. I, what do you mean, that's just not, statistics? Well, that's not reality. Well, you're the one. Yeah, it is reality. <laughs> statistics well, are reality. Okay, well... I, I I just I just have a problem with you getting on the. I mean, you did. It made me happy to hear you say just a few minutes ago, you are telling the guys or what the point you're trying to get across is have meaningful sex with one woman. Just no, I'm no, I'm not. By the point I'm trying to get to, uh, across to these guys is stop trying to have meaningful sex with one woman. These women are a bunch of bitches and whores anyway. You might as well be with bitches and whores one time only. Go go go. Hey, well, with all due respect, man. I'm going to venture to say that's probably why you've been divorced four, five, six times. Why is treat, that? You treat women like they're rag. You treat no, women I don't like treat. Old. I don't take any crap from women. I won't take their crap. None of the foot stamping. None of the demanding. I buy them things. None of the whining. None of it. I don't tolerate. Well, it. I have a zero tolerance policy. Well, Tom, then you can't ever be with a woman because you can't be with a woman without putting... I don't need to be married. Guess what? I'm happier being unmarried and having women when I feel like it. And so that's the advice that you would give to everyone Yes. Yes, I would. Every one of them. <laughs> All right, man. What well, are you laughing at? Do you think I'm a comedian or something? I'm serious no, about this. I think, I think you're exactly what you said you are. You're a step above from a disc jockey, and you're trying to give psychological life... I'm not trying to get psychological anything. That's exactly what, that's a point I never claim to be a psychologist on this program, no, ever. and I never, I never said you were a psychologist. My advice, I don't try to give psychological advice. My advice is based on the school of hard knocks. Right. I have lived have, life. You have a whole following that's growing on a daily basis. You bet my it point, is. My point is, if this continues, and this is I hope it does. giving to young, young Americans, you mark my word, Tom, 30 years from now, we will end up with more welfare, more child support. No, issues, we won't. More no, children. we won't. No, we won't. The, the welfare is coming from these guys who are 19, and they're in love with their 17-year-old girlfriend who wants to have a baby. That's where the welfare is coming from. Oh, and, and see, my point is, is... You you ought to be given advice for men like you did with the earlier guy when you said, where's your dad? Why aren't you talking to your dad? That's the type of advice. That's what's going to help. Yeah, but him. your dad is going to give a lot of the same advice I will. Well, that's... that's... Kick your ass. <laughs> Tell you to stop being a pussy. <laughs> By the way, I've been living my lifestyle for a long time. There's no babies around here. Yeah, well, you're fortunate, I guess. No, I'm smart. There's also part of America and the rest of the world that views children as a gift and also views a marriage as a gift. And yeah, by the way, by the way, how does my advice lead to welfare? I, I, get, I, I encourage guys to go to college, pursue their careers, don't get into relationships until you are well into your career, until you're financially set. That's the exact opposite of welfare. Do you listen to what I say here? I'm listening to exactly what you're saying. Well, now, I say that I stuff say. all the time. Now, listen. I tell guys to stop being friggin' losers. All I'm saying is, and you're right, you do give ve some very good advice. And when All guys, I'm... when guys are 17 and they're stock clerks at Target, and they meet their <laughs> girlfriend in the back uh, stock room, and then they have a baby with her at 18, and they they live in an apartment in Panorama City. They're gonna love me in Panorama City because I keep bringing them up in Panorama City. And, and they call and go, well, we're in love, and now she won't put out, and she, now she weighs 180 pounds now, and I'm 20, and we've got two kids. That's exactly what I'm trying to stop. Yeah, but, and, and again, and, and I'll, I'll end with this, because I have a feeling you're getting ready to kick me off anyways. Um, all I'm saying is, if, if we have uh, radio, TV personalities giving advice, saying, Go have random sex with random girls. Just go have protection. meaningless sex. It's yeah. like that. Yeah, again, these, I, these, as I always these. say, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather use the urinal at the Four Seasons Hotel over on Doheny in Beverly Hills. 
But if I can't be there, I'll always hit that Chevron station out in Barstow. That's fine. But let me, let me, let me just finish my point if I can real quick. Um, that 5%, it, as far as the, the effectiveness or actually lack of birth control, you said there's a 5% uh, chance to At sell. worst. At, At worst. worst. Okay. Well, if we have more and more and more and more and more men having meaningless sex, the number of children... What makes you think people having meaningful sex are not getting pro pregnant? What makes you think that? We're guys. We're guys. We're not going to stop it just... Having going. meaningful sex is not going to mean you're not going to get pregnant. You're not going to get somebody pregnant. You are. Okay. Meaningful, meaningless... What a, it, it doesn't matter. E either or. All I'm saying is... If she doesn't that, have your last name and she can't track you down for child support, she's less likely to give birth to that little crumb cruncher. Yeah, but what if it happens? Are you just saying best of luck to the mom and the kid? Well, that's my attitude about it. I'll tell you what. Well, yeah, man. That's, I'll do whatever I'm legally forced to do, but that's it. That's messed up. Well, but people shouldn't be having babies without my consent. Yeah, but you're putting you're putting more of the blame in essence, on the woman than Well, the man. yeah, these bitches should keep their legs closed if they don't want to get knocked up. That's Fact ridiculous. is, a lot of these chicks want to get knocked up, but they want men to pay the bill. That's what this is all about. That's ridiculous. That's a fact, Jack. That's a fact in your opinion. That is no, 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 a it's fact. a fact. That's what they want. They want money. Look at all the suits over child support. Look, family courts are overflowing with these little whores trying to get money out of, out of these guys. But, Tom, that's all you do is make general statements and present them over the air as they're facts. Those are not facts. Well, yeah, all are. women are not whores. I didn't all say women all women are, are whores. You said all women are whores. I did not say all women are whores. You said it. <laughs> wow. 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 Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. The 2008 Likette Calendar Release Party. This Friday at Canyon Club in Agoura Hills, California. Visit BlowMeUpTom.com for details. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM-LIKAS-101, I am your professor, Robert, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. Uh, I just get trip out when like guys call you and they disagree with you because you're trying to help people you know well uh, the other thing is the guys who call up for advice and then start arguing with me when i give it to them yeah it doesn't make sense yeah they're hey, expecting was, uh... me, I, you here's something you'll never hear me say you know what jason i think that the great idea to be with your girlfriend i know she's only 17 and you're 19 and you've had two kids and I know you're in a studio apartment, and I know you're having a hard time paying the bills, and I know you guys want to buy a $2 million house. And I just think you're doing the right thing, and I want to thank you for calling and being an example to everybody else. It's never <laughs> yeah. going to happen. I know, I know. Well, the reason I was calling was to tell you some good news. I've been listening to your show for about like a few months now, and I'm going out with my girlfriend for like three years, and finally broke it off. Yes! I know it's, it's like nice. such a relief. My, I, it's been like what a few days now, and my life is already like ten times better. How did she react when you dumped her? <laughs> she was like crying and <laughs> I was doing all this stuff, and like you know wanting to like talk about it and all that stuff. And she still like she still texts me trying to get back together with me, and I'm just like, no, it's you know it's over. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's, I love sorry, that. It's, it's pretty pathetic, actually, because like. You know, she was so mad, like, cussing and all this stuff. And then, like, now she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll change. I'll change. I'm sorry. And it's just like, no, absolutely not, you know? Oh, yeah. Started talking about, like, marriage and having kids and stuff, but kind of in the joking way. But yes. you know, I'm not into that, like, at all. I completely understand, Robert. Now, have you uh, gotten any other ass yet? No, not yet. It's uh, ended in Monday. And so, it's not, you know, I'm going to go out on the weekend, try my best. But Step it up. Yet. Exactly. I got well. It's, I've been out of, out of the game for almost three years, so got to get my bullpen ready. And you got to get the bullpen. You got to. It's time to start signing a few free agents. Exactly. I'm work. I'm working on it though. Very good. I know. She kept, just kept complaining. I go out with friends. She would like text me, say I'm not paying attention to her, but I'm with my friends. You know, why am I going to be on the phone with her? Absolutely. So chicks are. But hey, I just wanted to call. You know. 
tell you the good news. And uh, can you take me out, Kobe style? Of course I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. Here comes Wilson on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Tom, look at what happened. I'm 30 years old. I've been living in Las Vegas for seven years. I'm from Brazil. Um, I was married before, and um, I was 28 at that time. I showed up home one hour early, and I saw my ex-wife with somebody in the bed. I left the house. I called the police. And I said, listen, I have a few things inside the home, and I want to go back there. Just can you please go there and pick up a spark and stuff? Okay, that's fine. A couple of days later, my ex-wife asked for a second chance. And I said, no, I don't, this isn't going to work, okay? I don't want this. Move on. And she said, okay, I'm going to ask you in court and uh, watch me come. I said, okay. She filed for a restraining order against me. And a uh, couple of days later... She went in back in court. Of course, that time I told the judge, I said, listen, she can have 10 years for sending order on me. I don't care. I don't follow this woman. So a couple of days later, she went back in court, and she said, I violated the TPO. Okay, I was talking to her, and I called her, da, 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 da. But I hear in, in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is a felony. And um, I mean, almost went to the prison for one year. And I proved in, in, in the trial and jury. I was right, okay, she was lying. She lost the case. But, uh, hello, hello, is you there? Of course I'm still oh, here. Okay, okay, sorry about that. And um, during that time, I met someone, okay? I met this German woman, she's 40 years old, and uh, she wanted to date me, and I said, you know why, I'm not okay, I don't, I don't want to deal with this anymore, I don't want to date. If you want to just have sex, that's fine, it'll be my friend. No, 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 I want to be with you, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to show you. It's not all the women the same. Everybody's different, okay? And at that time, uh, I've been a uh, uh, problem, financial problem. And uh, this girl from Germany, she gave me $10,000 to give to my attorney, okay? And we've been spending time for at least one year and a half. This Friday, I was following her, and I saw her with another guy, married guy. And I went to her, and I say, you see, I prove one more time all the woman's the same. And I dump her. Good for you. Can you believe that? Yes, I believe it. This is why you shouldn't have girlfriends. You should just have fun. I know, and uh, I tell all those guys there, you know, I have my own business. You know, I'm not rich. I make around $100,000, $120,000 a year. But I tell all those guys there, you know, I say, man... Never, ever stop to do anything because to somebody, because nobody cared about you. And actually, woman, I, you know, before I was respect to everything, now what I saw last week, and the guy's married, you know? And she was telling me the story. Well, she's, well God, by the way, she's uh, got a boyfriend, okay? But, uh, you know, the, the standards are not what the, you think they once were. I mean, you might as well just have sex with whoever you want because they're going to have sex with whoever they want and be done with it. I know, I know. And uh, it's kind of strange the way they act to a woman, you know. It's kind of, they they try, and at the end of the story, they try to show you are wrong. You do something wrong, you know. For example, she told me once, well, she was really mad at me, and she said, you know why we don't date anymore. We just spend time. But if you sleep with another woman, Get away from my life. What is that? <laughs> well, that's how they are. Wilson, you got to learn from this. Stop making commitments. Stop getting into serious relationships. Just have fun. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. Hey, uh, so uh, so I started tuning in. I'm, I'm from out of town, actually. I used to listen to you about 10 years ago and then moved away. I'm back on business. Um, and I tuned into Light Kiss 101, and it really got under my skin. Um, so first, it sounded like you were basically teaching people how to get discount prostitutes. Is that oh, no, right? No, 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 because uh, prostitutes uh, charge even at a discount. No, uh, this okay. is not prostitution. I'm teaching them how to get sex without paying for it. Okay. 
And so, uh, so I was listening along, and and okay, yeah, that's fine, blah blah blah. And then, just the the tone of what you're saying just really started depressing me, um, because uh, it, it sounded like basically like all you're saying is all there is to life is sex and money. And I just want to let oh know, no, you know, there's there's more than sex and money. There's food. There's travel. There's uh, meeting all these people from different countries, which I enjoy very much. Uh, uh, I, there's uh, creative endeavors. I mean, uh, there's a, my, I live a very full, rich life. Uh, but I the mean, thing is, sex and money are inex- inextricably intertwined. They are intertwined, yeah, I, and you can't. Un- and the bottom line is uh, that uh, these days, there's very few monogamous people out there. They talk a good game, but the reality is, people do whatever the hell they want now. Yes. There are exceptions to the rule, and there are rare instances where somebody's married 20, 30, 40, 50 years. But generally speaking, that's not the way it's going anymore. So, so people are bad to other people, but that doesn't mean you throw the whole concept out the window and just die a, a lonely old man. What makes you think that, for example, that I am a lonely person? Well, uh, I I think the way that you're talking, the way you're presenting yourself, you're just going to end up, you know, this this guy with nobody to take care of him, no kids, no companions. By the way, why would you um, assume someone you're married to will be there to take care of you? Uh, because you make a promise to each other. Maybe well, they break people promise. make promises all the time, and guess what? They get divorced. They promise to be there till death do us part, but then they don't. They promise they do, but- to. Hmm? Uh, they, they promise they, to they love and like cherish it. each other, forsaking all others, meaning they're not going to screw around. Uh, they break that promise. I mean, so what? They make a promise. It doesn't mean anything anymore. It's not worth the paper it's printed on. It, it's about being a real man, not a man that screws a, around, but being a real man that... A, a real man? This has nothing to do with it. There are women now who are complete whores, and these are the women who not only are complete whores, but expect us to pay for everything. Uh, a real man becomes the bigger person and does what's right, not no, necessarily what no, he gets no. No, a real man, a real man takes care of himself, takes care of his home, defends himself against whores and bitches who try to take him for everything he's got and then screw around for God's sake. Okay, I mean, I guess we'll agree to disagree. I mean, what? Did, what? Did, uh, how about Paul McCartney? Paul McCartney got married. Oh, all you need is love. Yes, Paul McCartney gets married. Paul McCartney doesn't sign a says, "Don't worry, don't sign a prenup." What did Paul McCartney do wrong? And Paul McCartney thought, "Oh yeah, here I am. I'm 62 or 63, whatever he was at the time when he got married, and he marries this chick, and I guess he assumed she'd be there forever. Where is she now?" I don't know, but but the thing... Where is she now? No, no, don't try to go tap dancing away from this. There's a perfect example. What did Paul McCartney do wrong? He followed your instructions. He followed your rules. And look, he's alone. Yes, that's true, but... He's alone with an infant, by the way. You know, he's alone. He's a 64-year-old man with an infant living alone. Yes, but he's an alone man that did the right thing. And that's no, what no, wrong, wrong. Doing the right thing is defending yourself and taking care of yourself. That's doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is not doing something that ends up kicking you in the ass. Okay, I mean, you can say that, but at the end of your life, you're not going to be able to defend yourself. You're not going to be able to care I don't have yourself. to. By the way, Paul, who's taking care of Paul McCartney? I don't know. That's my point. Paul McCartney did what you said he should have done. Where is the caretaker in his life? God. Uh, I, yeah, I don't she's know. She's hobbling her way. She's I dancing with the with stars. You. She's going on TV dissing him and telling uh, stories about him, true or untrue, who knows, everywhere to anybody who will listen. So in the, in the legacy that Paul with McCartney... millions of his dollars. Gonna... Millions. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine, but... Well, he did the right least, thing. He's a stand-up guy, in your view. He did the right thing. Yes. He, he was a fool. He was a complete fool. Okay. I'd rather be well. me than Paul McCartney. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now, pal. I would rather be me than that goddamn Paul McCartney. What a moron. Holy cow. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I have sex with men who give me money and I invest it in the market. Are you mad? I'm not a $40 date. There are plenty of suckers out there. <laughs> yeah. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. Ah! I am your 
Bible professor. Every week at this time, we teach you the tenets of Life is 101. All you need to do is dial 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Charles on Life is 101 with your professor. Hello. How are you doing, Dad? Doing you great, son. My life. Do Please. tell. Two years ago, a relationship of three years ended. The girl was telling me that this guy was her cousin. She was banging him the whole three years we were together behind my back. I was devastated. One of my friends told me, why don't you listen to Tom Likas? You sound like a little bitch. I took Likas 101 to heart, word for word. Three months later, I'm banging chicks left to right. I'm at Pig and Whistle. I'm at the Saddle Ranch in Hollywood banging chicks left to right. Love that. Guess who crawls back telling me, Oh, yeah, you know what? I made a mistake. I want to come be with you. He can't do it like you. So I was like, what would Tom do? So I started banging her, using her for money. She's giving me $200. I'm taking my friends out to clubs, banging other chicks with it. My birthday, we go to Vegas. I spend all her money at the poker table. She comes home broke, dude. We, we come back, and I call her and say, you know what? And I think about else. What would you say at this time? I tell her, you know what? I don't think this is going to work. And it's you, not me. <laughs> I and I love still that. got friends that still don't take it to heart. Like my little brother, Manuel, he's still going crazy over this stupid fat bitch named Melissa. And she's running around cheating on him. And I just, I still don't know what's wrong with these guys. You guys need to listen. My ex called me the other day. She said, oh, I'm having problems. I need to talk. It's been two years. She has two guys who she doesn't know who the, her baby's father could be. And that would have been me, too, if it wasn't for Likas 101. Unbelievable. Yeah. And, I, hey, Tom, I just need you to do me a favor for my homeboy, Eric and Ian. Can you take me out? Bong style. Thank you, Jesus. Here you go, Charles. Thank you, Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Joseph on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I have the worst case scenario of what not to do 101. I was in a relationship, just got out about three months ago uh, for about a five-year relationship. The reason why I was, I'm 36, I was basically going to marry this woman and all hell broke loose. Your, your listeners have to, have to understand, do not get married. Situation is this. She ended up becoming addicted to pain medication. And now she's held up in my house. I can't get into my house. I went to jail for calling the police on this person. And, uh, you know, I mean, I had a restraining order against me, spent the night in jail. Just just don't do it. I couldn't agree more, as you know, Joseph. Yeah, it's just, it's really crazy because I'm the one that's suffering here. I'm 100% in the right. The judge dropped all charges on everything. With the night that I was arrested, even the, the arresting officer said to me, you know what, Joseph, I am so sorry that you are going through this. Unfortunately, in the, law, in the state of California, y you know, if, if you're calling on a domestic situation and if that woman that you're dating or anything has one little scratch on them, guess who's going to jail? Oh. No doubt about it. Yeah. And the situation is, even if you called the police, you're still going to jail. doesn't matter. That's <laughs> right. And so right now what's happening is I'm losing my house. And, and it's just, I mean, this is just, I mean, I have to basically pick up all the pieces and start again. And I'm telling you, man, I am not getting married. Trust me on this one. And it's so funny because all my friends are like, oh, no, no, Joseph, everything's going to be fine. You're going to meet another, uh-uh. No, you know what? I can meet them. We can fool around. We can have fun. Ain't tying any knot. <laughs> and your listeners out there, they need to understand this. The funny thing is, is that, you know, when I was first going through this, I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, I can't believe this. I have to call Tom. i got to tell him this story because there are so many people out there, and I was one of them thinking, you know what? Okay, I'm 30 now. I'm thinking maybe I want to start settling down. And it's like all of a sudden I'm thinking to myself, what is it that you always say? What's in it for guys? Nothing. That's there's right. No there's nothing, nothing in it for guys. guys and incredible risk 
That's exactly, and you know what? And I and I and I blew it. I I got I got boned from this whole situation. So you know, your listeners out there, they need to understand: do not get married. And the other thing too is, you know, if they're with, if there's guys, because I know, because I was one of those one of those guys. Yeah, I'm gonna get married, but I'm still gonna listen to Tom Likas because I enjoy the show. But the situation is, you don't know who it is that you're getting married to. Not at all. You need to do a background check. You got to make sure because I had no idea that you know my soon-to-be wife was was doing drugs. Uh uh-uh. uh Yeah. Well. And this so is what I'm I tell the boys. By the way, were you a listener before you got married? Yes, I was. And you know what? You could berate me and do all you want. I'm. I'm. I was dumb. <laughs> you you know? thought. And you I, thought you knew more than the professor, didn't you? Well, you know what? I thought I did, and I said to myself, because I understand what your show's about and everything, and I've listened probably 10 years plus, and I thought to myself, you know what? I think it's time for me to stop, you know, stop running around. I think I'm ready to start settling down, and guess what? I sure wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what, Professor? You are 100% right, and I've started taking a lot of your stuff back into consideration. Like right now, I told myself, if I'm going to go out on a date, Guess what? It's only going to happen during the week because the weekend is my time. Right. My time to go out with my friends because, you know, this whole situation has just become one big hellish. I mean, I can't even explain it. You know, you, you don't know what it's. I mean, well, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but some of your listeners out there, you know, you think everything's all hunky dory and everything's fine. Well, guess what? You don't know anything about what it's like until you basically spend a night in jail for something that you did not do and being 20 minutes away from going to county if one of your buddies didn't come out and bail you out. Mm-hmm. They just, your 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 listeners need to understand this. Just just go out, have fun, you know. You can you can, you know, be with a woman, but don't get married. This this woman is treating everything like if it was a divorce, like she's trying to take everything of my stuff. I had to get the restraining order, you know, modified because the situation was is that there's one little thing that's on there. I don't think a lot of people realize if they've never had a restraining order put against them is that there's a little checkbox on there. And what that little checkbox does on one of the lines, it says uh, power of property. And what that means is that whatever you don't have on your person becomes that person's property. Meaning, if somebody's living in your house that you own, that your name is on the deed and that person is not, and they're living in your house, guess who owns everything? Believe me, Joseph, you're preaching to the choir here. Yeah, oh, I know, but I'm telling your listeners, and that's what this situation's about. I mean, that's what that's what Like Us 101 is about, for your listeners to understand. Because I know that there's people out there right now listening going, ah, oh, this is never going to happen to me. Guess what? I thought the same thing, and now I am just, like, trying to restart my life again and get everything back to normal. But, you know, and the other thing, too, is if you think you can go out, like, say you've got somebody in your house. I know you've always said, kick them to the curb. Well, that's what I tried doing. Try kicking it to the curb. One thing I think that your listeners have to understand, especially when it comes to the fact if you're living in the state of California, I've spoken to an attorney, and yeah, they you can't say, yeah. kick yo, you can't kick them out, which is why I tell you don't let them move in. Well, right, that's exactly it. No, no. Do you remember the old commercials? Do you remember the old commercials for the Roach Motel? That's your house. Yeah, that's exactly it. Because well, the roaches in. check in, but they won't check out. That's, that's exactly it. And what you need to do to get this person out, like, I mean, here's the thing. If you have somebody come and stay with you, and they stay with you after one day, and they can decide to basically set up residence, and you can't kick them out. This is why I know, I think what you've said is, is that don't have a woman come to your house, always go to hers. And then leave, you know. Right. And, quit it. and never, the- ever let them move into your place. Ever. No. Never give them a key. That's never exactly give it. them. No. No. That's exactly it. Yeah. You, you can't do it because then what you got to do is then you got to go through an eviction process. And that can take anywhere between 30 and 60 days. That's right. And then, it, and then if you're and, and then if you're like not lucky like me, you get a restraining order put against me, which means then she can have full range of your home. Yep. So I'm going to go because I'm sure you got a lot more listeners out there. But I want to thank you for everything that you're doing. I know I didn't listen for a short time, but I'm back. And I'm telling you, your listeners need to understand that there is no reason to get married. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. Yep. You, know, you yep. can hit it. 
you can quit it, you know, you can hit it, keep it around for keep them around for a little while, you know. And the best thing too is like right now I've got this wonderful I got this wonderful little I guess you can call like a regular booty call and she totally understands. She's like, Look, I don't want a relationship. We can have sex, we can go to the movies, we can hang out, go to a bar and just, you know, have sex and she totally understands it. But that one moment that I see, guess what? I want a relationship. See ya. That's what you got to do. That's and that's it. what I tell the boys. And that, that's why I hope they understand. You've lived it, baby. You have lived it. Jessica on Like Us 101. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, Hi. Hello. Last time. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hello. Yes. I hope, don't repeat me. Just let me know you can hear me. Hello. Um, I wanted to know if, um, like, that last phone call actually kind of led into it pretty well. What would you tell girls? Like, what would you tell? Uh, what would you? What would you tell a girl? How would? She, what should she do with her life? Does she do the same thing that you tell guys? Just like get action, or doesn't that make her? Doesn't that make her a whore to you? I mean, no, a whore. No, a whore? it makes her a slut. A whore charges for her services. Okay. All right, so I, it's like double sided. Then you can't a girl can't do what a guy. I don't mind. Hey, Jessica, let me tell you something. If I met yeah. you and you're a slut, I'm through. Right. I think that's fair because because that means you're going to give it up to me. Okay, so how do you differentiate between a slut and just a, a woman that you would respect? Because you don't respect sluts, right? Why are I mean, you worried I, about my respect? Well, you should be worried about getting what you can get out of it. Getting what I can get out of it? Yeah. An not- orgasm, a, a drink, uh, a night right. out, whatever. Get what you can get out of it. But doesn't that just make me a user, like the girls that you don't like? Like No, no, dear, not- dear, I mean, I'm not saying move into the guy's house and then take him for everything he's right. got. That's a horrible person. I mean, you could, uh, you might just want to go out and hang out or have a, watch a movie. or Maybe you just need an orgasm. Right. No, I totally understand that. So go get that. It just, it just doesn't to make it didn't sound like it made sense like how what you tell guys to do you do it you think that girls should do the same thing i do everybody should just use each other like ann rand you know that that uh the, the lady ann rand she's like a sociologist kind of crazy 1970s <laughs> like the virtue of self she, no like no that that's she's not from the 1970s yeah. here she's from the 1950s she's old. She's and she huh old. she's old to me she's from too far back to know, but that kind of is, is that like Columbus? That too far crazy. back to know, huh? No, I just I'm not as familiar with her, but I am. What year was Columbus, by the way? What year did he discover America? Isn't it the song 1842? 1842. There you go. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. That whole deal in 1842. Right. Yes. Is that correct? Just before the Civil War, indeed. Oh, great. Well, that's not the point that I'm, I'm not calling for a history lesson. I'm calling to find out what your take is. They wrote the Declaration Trinity. of Independence, and then Columbus got here about uh, 70 years okay. later. Listen, Tom, you're just avoiding what I'm asking you. No, I'm, I'm not. You, you are. I'm asking you, is that whole idea of being selfish, is that what you're saying? Like, just be selfish and don't worry about it. Yes, like that, okay, so it goes for guys and girls. Just- when did I ever say it doesn't go for girls? The only difference for girls I- is if you insist on getting married and you want to uh, and you want to get the maximum amount out of guys, your window of opportunity when your product is at its highest value and then after right. that it will start to decline is between ages 25 and 29. Right, okay, I'm 25. I don't have any, uh, any desire right now to get married whatsoever. I just yeah, but if to- you wait until 30... Then your chances of marrying a desirable person start going down because you've passed your expiration date. Okay, so at my age, do you think I should start pushing to get married? Or I'm going to be. By 30. Because at 30, you know, guys like me, we can afford uh, the best, meaning the youngest. And 30 is over the hill, dude. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. The Tom Likas Show.